hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel my name is jimaima this is the part four of the series how i got a distinction in my just concluded professional mbbs exam so if you've not seen the part one to three please go and see it this is a question and answer series and i'm going i have so many questions here that i am going to answer i've gotten a screenshot of all of them and i will be addressing all those questions in this video so if you are interested in that keep watching so the first question i'm going to answer this person says um if your saturdays and sundays were not your reading days what happens when you have classes from monday to friday well i have to um, make this clear that there's a difference between preparing for exams during your holidays and preparing for exams during classes usually uh, in my school they give us a month, about a month or so, after our third in course to prepare for mock MB exam. And after mock MBBS exam, they usually give us about a month to prepare for the main MBBS exam. So this period was that, that I mentioned that I do not study on Saturdays and Sundays. That was during that, um, like a, a kind of break that my school gave to us. We were not having any classes throughout that period apart from one or two revision classes here and there so i had a luxury of time to plan on how i want my day to be so that's why i said i left out saturdays and sundays but during classes that's when i have classes from mondays to friday or from morning to evening i usually use my saturdays for studying but then sundays nothing study at all I use Sundays for my personal life and school and I mean and church and every other thing. The second person say, um, how can you learn a diagram without drawing it even once? <laughs> wow, how do I even explain this? How do I actually learn a diagram? I draw it in the air. That's what I do. I hate writing. Anything that I'll have to take up a pen and a pencil or something, whatever, to put down using my hand to write on a book or a paper. I hate it so I just because I hate it I had to devise a better means and a, and a faster means to be able to study so when I learn a diagram I look at whatever diagram I want to learn I try to picture it in my head I try to um, imagine it I try to understand it if it's a diagram that I can understand I try to understand it I try to picture it and then draw it on the air so if you see me studying you think that i'm mad because i draw things if, 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 even when i'm studying i don't write down i study and i write in the air and it, once i do that i picture draw it in the air and my brain just pictures it that it's registered <laughs> i don't really know how to explain anyway but that's how i i do it and this person said um jamie how do you cope with depression as a medical student oh my god this is a full video on its own and I am definitely going to upload a full video about this. How, how do I cope with depression? When I find myself getting depressed, I just, I call. I talk to my seniors, I talk to my mates, I talk to my mom. I just try to call to talk to, I mean, someone. I, I don't keep it to myself at all. Then I try to do things that make me happy. Just anything. If it's taking myself out. If it's something I want to eat, I do it. If it's YouTube videos I want to watch. If it's games I want to play. I just try to take my mind off school or keep that what is making me depressed. This person said, please, what time do you read and sleep during your preclinics? Wow, do I really have time? Okay, let me just quickly give you guys a, a short um, overview of my schedule. When I was in preclinic house, I used to have classes from 8 to 5. Okay, so I usually wake up around 5.45 a.m. Then study whatever classes I'm going to have for that day. As For example, if in the last biochemistry class, I had it, my class was on hemoglobinopathies. That morning when I wake up, I'm going to read the material on hemoglobinopathies. That's using fast reading. If you've not seen my video on how to use fast reading skill technique, okay, I'll put the link up for you. Just go and watch so that you understand. So I do fast reading, go through the material, the previous class that I've be, I was taught, okay. Everything, if I'm going to have about chemistry, physiology, anatomy, or histology, embryology, the last thing I was taught in the last class, that is what I studied that morning. So that's what I usually do from that 5.45 that I wake up. That's after my normal morning prayer. I do that till 7.30. 
So it's at 7 30. I will now take my bath, rush up, clean my room, sha 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 sha. Before you know it, I'm out of my house by let's say 10 minutes to eat. And on or before it, I find myself in class. I try not to go late for classes. So that's what I usually do. Then I attend my classes till 5. Some classes usually extend to 6 or some lecture at 6.30. So whichever way, I come back. When I come back, I find something to eat, go to social media for like an hour or so. Then I study till pr probably 12 a.m. 12 a.m. I do my midnight prayer and sleep. Anything I'm reading at all. My brain has it conditioned that once it's time for my midnight prayer, after my midnight prayer, I sleep. So if it's a day that I have life service to attend, like Mondays, I usually... Um, attend my life service and Fridays Mondays Fridays I, have, I usually have life services and life service usually span from sometimes 9 to 11 so whichever way I just condition my mind that I have sh a shorter time to study to do so I have to my brain will just look for how to adjust <laughs> and try to like finish studying the things I need to study for that day quickly so let's say i sleep around 12 a.m wake up around 5 45 a.m i don't joke with my sleeping at night because if i don't sleep well at night during the day i'm usually very very dull and then the next question says um i'm usually i'm too shy to approach people to explain topics i don't understand what do i do <laughs> wow okay if you're sh too shy to approach people i suggest you chat them up I believe if you're shy, like you can't meet them face to face, you should just send them a message, you know, you can chat up or you can meet any of your friends that's not shy to meet these people to explain stuff for you if you're sh too shy to meet them. This person said, um, how do you catch up with the classes you miss after coming back from your break? Wow. Oh, thank God for my friends. Amara and Amira, God bless you guys for me. Thank you. So they usually um, collect the lecture notes or whatever material from them the next day i snap um, on, on their i snap their notes or if it's a material pdf or doc document they send it to me on whatsapp so that same day i make sure i don't sleep until i read up all those things i've snapped from them then this person say i don't believe it is possible to write exam without talking at all be truth with jemima wow this person are you serious <laughs> wow well i'm not going to judge you if you don't believe I'm not here to convince you that it's, it's possible, so it's up to you. Yeah, then this person said, don't your classmates hate you for not telling them answers in exam hall? Wow. Well, I've received so many sneakering comments, so many like vile comments. I really don't know, but nobody have, you know, come directly to um, say something bad about that decision to my face so probably they are gossiping about it behind my back but no one have approached me to confront me about it so i don't know if they hate me for doing that but i mean why should you hate somebody for such a decision is this is a person that is paying your school fees or oh, i don't i don't just understand nobody only you right jam why go con the hate person for a personal decision like that i really don't know sorry so i can't answer this question i don't know if any of them hit me nobody have, have nobody have confronted me and this person said at the beginning of the video you said you study every day but towards the end of the video you said that when you're tired you don't study the whole day okay <laughs> wow okay so wow how do i explain this so my point is make it like let it be in your subconscious to study every day so that on a day when something unexpected comes up or the day when you cannot just study at all you will not miss out so much so um, that's that that's just my point i make sure i study every day but there are some days when i'm mentally not prepared or i'm just too busy with one thing or the other to study i try to keep some days from as my break day so i would say study every day that's the one you should take <laughs> And this person said, please, can you help me out with PDF of where you answered all the past questions? Wow, sorry. I actually answered them here. <laughs> yes, I actually answered them here. I did not write them down anywhere. So, sorry, I can't help you out with this. <laughs> there are some people who took out time to write down the answers. Ah, no, no, no. That will slow me down drastically. I can use just one day to finish all those past questions of over 10 years. Just because I don't write down. I just, you know say it out research it and store it in my brain but writing down i really don't know I, it doesn't work for me it slows me down so sorry 
I don't have the PDF to send to you. This person said, don't you feel the person in discussed questions after exam and discover that you made some mistakes? Depressed? No. But sad? Yes. I usually beat up myself. Like, I'm like, Jemmy, now wow, you're stupid. Why have you seen? Like, I remember one mistake. I saw, um, I saw UV spectrophotometer and I called this centrifuge. When I came out of the exam hall, I nearly gave myself a dirty slap. I was like, Jemmy, how can you see UV spectrophotometer and call it a centrifuge? Do, have you... That is, I have used the UV spectral photometer before. I have used the centrifuge before, but that exam day, I don't just know what came over me. It was a steeple chase. So, 10 seconds or so, they rang the bell, and I was like, I struggled to remember what that instrument was, but I couldn't remember. It was immediately I stepped out of the exam hall, and I discovered that it was actually a UV spectral photometer. So, yes, I usually feel bad, but it made me to be more conscious next time not to make that same mistake. So, yes, I usually feel bad, but I mean, it is what it is. <laughs> um, next person said, um, apart from these reasons you have given us, why and when did you make the decision not to communicate in exam hall? I'm curious, please. Oh my God. Guys, I think so many people have asked me this question already. Please, please, if you're one of those who asked me this question, if you're one of those that's curious about this, I'm going to upload a full video on this. Um, but just know that it's a personal decision that I made right from my first degree my 200 level the beginning of my 200 level in my first degree so i've been doing that for i was in 200 level in 2012 so that's about 10 years now i've been doing that for 10 years now so it's something i'm already used to these are all the questions that i have i hope i've not missed anyone okay that's that's all the questions so thank you so much guys for following up with this series if there's any question that i've not answered here you can forward them to my email i'll be very much available to reply to your emails ah so see you guys in the next series i remain your girl jimaima bye